One of his techniques is that he meticulously cuts a small portion of a ping pong ball out and super glues it to the bottom side of his thumb for the plucking on his right hand. Maybe he'll talk about that later, but let's <laughs> hear the music. Jason, thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, how about we start with a prelude uh, by Bach. This is an incredible piece. Uh, from Prelude Fugue in Allegro 998, BWV number 998. This is the Prelude. question the the joy happens right away but it's in a different way when you're first working on the piece than when you're performing uh, there, there's a joy of discovery initially just the the incredible uh, construction and the humanity and and pure melody in his music and you're just really I mean for I don't know for myself I'm in awe you know just working on it and uh, with Bach, probably more than any other composer, you, you feel humbled. And then when you perform it, though, <laughs> initially when you first start performing, you have to be careful not to be in awe and, and sort of in wonderment of, the, of the, the house you're standing in while you're playing it, because you're supposed to be explaining it <laughs> in, in the present moment. So that's a little bit of a challenge, because sometimes you'll be going along and you'll be like, oh, wow, that's fantastic what he did there. Whoa, 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 hold on. <laughs> get back to work you know <laughs> so and then that then that gets a little bit easier uh, as you as you continue to perform it so 
Um, the next piece, well, let's see. This is one I've been kind of thinking about bringing, bringing back so recently. It's, it's kind of like an encore piece. Um, not everything, of course, we play is transcription. There are original pieces and you know, for guitar and, uh, and a lot of great composers out there really doing a very exciting things, you know, with, with the music. Uh, Maximo Diego Pujol is an Argentinian guitarist. Uh, so I think largely, uh, you know, most of his compositions are for solo guitar or guitar uh, ensembles. Uh, this is a quick prelude called Candombe en Mi, or it has a double meaning. It's, um, the Candombe is an Argentinian dance form, but its roots are uh, in West Africa. Uh, so it has a very, it, the, 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 it's very rhythmic. The rhythm is really brought to the forefront in this kind of, uh, in this kind of dance, uh, he heavily syncopated. And, but Maximo also has a, has a, a background in rock and roll. Uh, pretty strong background, and so this is like a really, a really kind of neat fusion between this West African derived Argentinian dance, the candombe, and uh, and and you'll, you'll hear these really sort of rock and roll bluesy licks in it as well. And the meaning is it's in E, which is kind of like your your standard open string, your guitar tuning. And uh, so, and so, candombe and mi, uh, mi being the solfege syllable for e, the note e, but then also it refers to himself. Like the, this is the candombe as filtered through, you know, his his background. I check the A, you know, the A440 against the tuner. Well, with guitar, the thing is, you got to take what you get. 
you know, because <laughs> as soon as, uh, you know, if you're in the green room and you and you get it tuned and then you walk on stage, I mean, even just walking with the guitar with air going by it messes it up. <laughs> so it's a very volatile instrument. So you, you know, if you go onto a, a warmer stage, the treble strings start going way up. And so you just kind of, you know, through performance, you find ways to, to start, you know, pulling on strings and this kind of thing and, and tuning quiet, quietly. So you're probably not really ending up at 440 some of the time. So, so I apologize to anybody out there that has perfect pitch. Their ears are bling. <laughs> I can, sure. I haven't played any Spanish music yet, so. <laughs> we think, you know, we th the think of the classical guitar, the Spanish repertoire, um, and this is uh, probably one of the, the most popular pieces in the repertoire. This is Capriccio Arabe, uh, Arabic Caprice, by Francisco Tarrega.
Thanks. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks so much. That's a lot of fun. What a joy. Thank you. That's a, that's a very lucky guitar. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, and I'm a very lucky guitarist to have it.